Hello and welcome to How to Get Started in IT. I'm Cherokee Boos and today I'll be addressing the elephant in the room and that is, well, what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, and customer experiences to meet changing business and market requirements. So first, let's take a trip in time and go back to the Industrial Revolution. During this time, there were several advancements really just to help humanity uh, holistically. And we saw a lot of uh, inventions come from this time especially the steam engine and this really helped with the textile industry and there was this rapid adoption of this process of using a steam engine to increase productivity and after the invention of this first steam engine other inventors started to quickly follow suit improving on previous iterations of the design and you started to see entire factories utilize this concept and incorporate a centralized steam engine or engines to run the entire factory. And this was such a stark difference, contrast from how textiles were made previously. So before that, companies would contract with local families and have them hand weave and sew all the products. And doing it this way was a lot slower, a much slower process. And you didn't really provide the customer with a uniform product. So from my perspective, I think of digital transformation in a similar way. And if you're you know, wondering, why are you talking about this Cherokee and you're just getting started and in IT, you might be thinking, how is this even important to me? So similarly to how those centralized steam engines um, you know, were designed and thought out, you will also need to be able to recognize outdated processes or systems and be able to provide consolidated solutions to streamline workflows, such as productivity suites, uh, infrastructure designs, network designs, automation tools, really just these core elements to propel your organization into the forefront of their respective markets. Now let's look at a great example, Netflix. Did you know Netflix started out as a mail order service before offering streamlined services? But just think about this, they weren't the only video rental service you know, in the game. How many of you have spent your Friday nights walking the aisles of a blockbuster like I did? It was you know, pretty nostalgic there, right? Yeah, that, that, one's, that one's great. But if you haven't, you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna have that opportunity because Blockbuster did not embrace this concept, which ultimately put them out of business. So you can see how customer expectations are driving those technological solutions. And a perfect example of this is, well, Starbucks. I can log on to my Starbucks app and order a venti mocha frappuccino, and I expect it to be there, ready, when I arrive. <laughs> and I also expect it to taste just like the one I ordered last week. Similarly to those standardizations that the steam engines provided, and that expectations of convenience doesn't stop at coffee or binge watching. People have those same standards for enterprise applications. So my best advice to you, as someone just getting started in IT, is to never become complacent or arrogant. Good tech professionals are always learning and are always interested in industry, industry trends and you know just different concepts that shape our environment so that those individuals can also stay at the top of their industry. If you'd like to share your story of how you've incorporated digital transformation or perhaps have seen a situation where digital transformation didn't go so well, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Cherokee Boos and this has been How to Get Started in IT.